Today is March 21st, 2022, and the road to running this year's New York Marathon in November starts now. I was out of commission for three months because I had two stress fractures in my legs due to overuse, which basically means that I was running too much. But now I am back, I'm ready to hit the road again. A little bit nervous that my muscles are gonna ache because I'm not used to running. I haven't run since December, but hopefully my stress fractures are fully recovered. I'm meeting my running coach for the first time. Her name is Jess. She's a Nike running coach, so she definitely knows what she's doing. And I'm just ready to run smarter, run harder, and better than ever. The marathon is this November, so let's get this journey started. I'm really bad at snacking during the day, but washed off some grapes, so I'm gonna take some of these so my orthopedist told me to try lots of different running shoes to see which one feels best on the recovering stress fractures in my shins. So we're gonna try these for today. I think these are called the On Clouds and they're supposed to feel like you're running on a cloud. So hopefully this will work and I won't feel any shin splints while I'm running. I'm so excited. I literally can't stop staring at myself in my running outfit because it's been three months since I've worn this. Okay, I found her. <laughs> Here. You better go, girl. <laughs> okay, so we finished. finished. How did I do? Very good. Over two miles already. All right, going out for run number two post-recovery. I'm in this new Lululemon jacket, my Nike Apple Watch. I've never had an Apple Watch in my whole life, and I don't really know how to track on this, so this should be interesting. Okay, so today is another run-walk day because I'm just starting out. Right now I'm on one of my walk intervals. I think about a minute and a half before I'm back to running. Today is my third run back from injury. The plan today is to do a three minute run, three minute walk, six times. First speed run. <laughs> Done. Okay, so I forgot to vlog on the pavement today because I was really focused, but I ran four miles. This is the first time I've done this in a really long time. Basically, I did the run walk that Coach Jess assigned to me, but I had a mile to walk still until where I needed to be, and I texted Jess, and she said I could run it nice and easy, so I did. Also, I'm not crying, it's fully sweat. All right, so here's a little update. Right now I'm in the orthopedist office, and my shins were hurting again, and he said it's not the stress fractures because it's been three months, but they are shin splints still, so I have to take a month off from running about, and go to physical therapy for the first time ever. So I'm supposed to do physical therapy twice a week. Kind of sucks because I can't run right now, but the good news is I can still do cycling and cross training. The marathon is still gonna happen, guys. I am willing it to happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it's actually. Day one at physical therapy. Yeah. 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 We just finished. Walk intervals. They suck. So today is the first day we're shaving off some of the walk intervals. Hallelujah. So it's three minute run, one minute walk, four time. All right, first walk interval. Pain about a two out of ten. The physical therapist is not gonna like that. Okay, I have to catch my breath. This is embarrassing us. Uh, so what? <laughs> In the middle of the park. We're trying to get healthy here. So Robin Arzon said that it's good for recovery to sit in an L shape with your feet up against a wall. So we're trying it. First early run of the summer, baby. It's 7.30 a.m. It's going up to 94 degrees in the city today. So I basically had no choice but to get up early if I wanted to run outside. <laughs> just finished my first continuous run just a 20 minute run you know about two miles no more run walks and I felt really good I mean there's still a little bit of underlying pain of course because it is a stress fracture recovery but not so much pain to the point where I had to stop so we're making progress something that's not really talked about in stress fracture recovery is the fear surrounding getting back up on your feet again anyway today is my first 40 minute run so it should be about four and a half ish miles i'm very nervous because i don't want my shins to hurt but i'm about to go roll out and hopefully it will be a good run 
All right, 4.66 miles, feeling good. There was actually a race going on in Central Park. I also saw some of the confetti along the street for the race and it reminded me why I decided to sign up for the marathon in the first place, which is just pure joy, freedom. It really gave me that boost of motivation I need. As I said before this run, it's kind of been replaced with a lot of fear, but I think this was a sign from above that confetti is gonna help me get my mojo back. Although it is important while training, especially marathon training, to be a good cheerleader for yourself because that will get you through the hard moments. This was just too funny not to show. Look how beautiful my evening physical therapy setup is. This is gonna be my circuit for my pelvis. We're working on making my pelvis straighter so that my heel strike doesn't land directly on my shin. So we got the mat for shoulder taps, resistance band for dead bugs and paper plates. We're getting unique here for the plank sliders. <laughs> First run post COVID and we are back to square one, baby. Walk runs. This is so incredibly frustrating because I was finally starting to get some mileage in and now I have to start back up slow again because I don't know how it's going to affect my lungs. I did a little bit of a cycling workout yesterday and I felt out of breath quicker, a little bit winded. So I think walk runs are the way to go as I test out how I'm feeling. Okay, I'm doing a little vlog because I'm super nervous to run today. This is my first long run post COVID. And also the last time I did this run out in the Hamptons, it was really painful. So I have a little bit of anxiety trying to breathe, but you know, I got my vest, I'm ready to go. So I'm kind of just gonna jump into it and not think too much. Okay, there's sweat in my eyes, so I can't see, but there's a dead bug on my tank top by the end of the run. I think that's blood too. All right, we got a whole ensemble here. I'm trying this running belt today. I packed one of the running goos to try for the first time because this is my first seven mile run in a really long time. Okay, here's the ice setup today at PT. I was having some pain in my hip. So we got the ice on the hip and the ice on the shins. So today it's 94 degrees outside. I had to find an indoor gym to run on the treadmill in for my eight mile run. And I'm just gonna be completely transparent. It was really freaking hard. My whole body hurt the entire time. I was upset. I wanted to burst into tears in the middle of the run. Just finished a 45 minute run by the White House and it was absolutely magical. My hip hurts a tiny bit. That's your little pain update for today, but I'm gonna go stretch it out in the hotel room, so I'm all set for Thursday, so. Watching this is filming. I know, so we can watch it later. <laughs> so today we did, <laughs> what did we do? First <laughs> speed workout, which was a hill workout. Yeah. We are healthy enough to <laughs> do some water. speed now. <laughs> I'm doing a Nike group run this morning. It's 10 miles. I'm so intimidated. There's so many people here and I'm all alone. And what's kind of nice, if you guys check out in the middle of a 12 mile long run, I'm just gonna get my car. That's not good. I have about two miles left. It was a 10 mile long run with Nike, but I was assigned 12 miles today, so I'm doing extra miles. Update, I set out to run 12 and wound up running a half marathon. I haven't done this since October when I, you know, stress fractured my legs, but this time it feels really good. I think the caffeine in my energy gel helped, although next time I do this distance, I am definitely going to take a second gel. And now we recover with the compression boots. 
our tempo workout today which means i'm doing a 1.5 mile run warm-up then holding 10 minutes at a 9 10 pace then five minutes at a 9 10 pace another five minutes at a 9 10 pace and then 1.5 mile cool down run so i'm doing the cold tub for the first time at physical therapy and it is freezing my legs are literally red and not brick red I just used the compression boots and look at the markings on my legs from them. This is so creepy. So it is seven in the morning, the morning of a long run. And this is my routine. We start off with foam rolling. Of course, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm staying in my pajamas until the latest moment possible. Right now I'm putting on some sunscreen. Okay, now anti-chafing. I use anti-monkey butt, which is a friction powder. Okay, now I'm getting dressed. I laid out my clothes the night before, so it would motivate me to get up. Now I rub this muscle recovery Epsom salt balm, basically wherever my muscles are sore right now, or will get sore during the run. Sweat band, very important, especially today because it's super hot. All right, now I'm packing my running belt with two spring energy gels because the run is 14 miles today and I want to make sure I can keep going. Some last minute water before I go. A little glute activation. Lacing up, or I guess in my case, sliding into my shoes. You got this. Okay, recap of yesterday's run. It turned out to be about 14.2 miles. I'm not sure. My tracker said 14.8, but I don't think it was 14.8. Anyway, it was pretty good afterwards. My legs felt pretty bluey, but I took a warm bath. I drank a lot of water. I drank six cups of water at dinner, and that's what kind of helped. Also took some Tylenol. But one tip I learned from yesterday's run is that it really helps to break it down into smaller pieces. I've heard that all the time, but it actually really helps to just think of it as, you know, just another 5K more, just another 5K more. Just did a 5K this morning and look at the time. It was about an eight and a half minute mile, which is pretty fast for me. Um, today's run was not my best run, I'm gonna be honest. My pace was slower, it was about a 10.30, probably because it was hot out, it was about 80 degrees and sunny, I was pretty tired, these are super dark bags under my eyes. But I'm trying not to get too down on myself about it because not every run is gonna be your best. This is so funny. I got the weirdest tan line from my biker shorts. You see the line? Okay, trigger warning. This is kind of gross, but <laughs> this is what my feet look like post run. As you can see, I have like blisters on every toe. My heel is all calloused. I got a blister in the back here. Okay, I'm just gonna show it close up. Basically, it's Greek yogurt with some cherries. Here's my post run. Snack. Ooh. I can't eat that. It was on the dirty counter. <laughs> okay, up early again for a Nike long run. It's Saturday morning around 7.40 a.m. So I'm about to leave for the Nike store. I've been really loving these Nike long runs because you run with this running community and it's like a tribe of people who support you and lift you up and it makes it much easier to get through the run when you're running for two to three hours instead of just doing that all by yourself. Okay, just finished 13.1 miles today. Lesson learned, do not chug water at the water stops. I had about 24 ounces, like chugged it down and it kind of gave me stomach cramps while I was running. So that's not the best idea. I'm getting ready for a run, but it's the middle of New York Fashion Week. Nick is sleeping on my couch. I'm trying not to wake him up, but I have to go warm up for my run.
So stupidly, I forgot to vlog last Saturday, but I ran 17.4 miles. That's a PR, a personal record for me. miles or so and I think my shoes are bad because my feet are killing me. My knees are like about to give out because there's so much downhill in this course. I finished! Yay! Alright, on my way to the park for an easy 45 minute midweek run. I'm a little nervous after the half marathon because that does not go great but I'm trying to just recognize that my body's not going to feel great. 100% of the time, especially in the thick of marathon training like right now. Another fun little part of marathon training, bruised toenails. I'm filming because I just got the weirdest deja vu moment of when I was wearing like a similar fit and I was running a turkey trot in Okemo with my cousins and I could hardly make it three miles. And here I am setting out on a six mile run and this is like an easy shakeout run day. So, little story time. I was at school and I basically just broke down in the middle of my class because I realized that I'm lonely. This marathon training is really freaking lonely. 20 mile long run on deck today in the pouring rain. Okay, so little synopsis of yesterday's 20 mile run in the pouring rain. Overall, it was really, really good actually. I was so surprised. It went by really fast. Um, there were obviously a lot of puddles on the ground. So I kept stepping in puddles and my feet were filled with water, but that's okay because I got through the run. A little bit sore, but right now it's Sunday and I'm going on a shakeout run for just a half hour. I'm at PT today and all the Halloween decorations are up and it's just scared the me. I lay back and look at the ceiling. Okay, this literally happens after every single long run. Look how matted my hair gets. I always have to cut the hair tie out of my hair. So we're at the point in marathon training less than a month out where I'm just super scared and I'm realizing what exactly I signed up for. I had to skip my six mile run today because my knees were killing me. I haven't skipped many training runs, so I'm trying to like show myself grace here. But yeah, I just feel like super guilty. It's the night before my first 22 miler run and my plate is all orange. This is what I'm having for dinner. We got salmon, sweet potatoes, and carrots. 22 miles today. I'm absolutely terrified. Also, look how proud of it. Halfway done to the 22. We did it! We did it! You didn't do it. I didn't do it. She did it. I didn't do it. Why is it that the day of my long run, I'm not tired and my body temperature just goes up and down and I feel sick? And the day after, I don't feel as sick, but I'm exhausted. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. Okay, so today was a 14 mile long run. The first long run of the taper. It was not great, I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of hills. We did the Queensboro Bridge twice. I kind of did it one and a half because I hit my 14 miles in the middle of the bridge. So I started to walk down it and then just ran because I wanted to finish. Last long run. Thank you. <laughs> so it's the Saturday before the marathon and we're in the for the last 10 miles. So this is where I don't have to leave the other It looks like an uphill on Fifth Avenue. This is where everyone's gonna be. 
in a week. <laughs> Last long run done. One week to go. I'm at the Marathon Expo. Oh my gosh. Everywhere I walk, people are saying congratulations. And I haven't even run it yet. It's so surreal. Okay, it's 4 a.m. It's marathon morning. I just wanted to get on here and film a little. I'm so scared. I woke up at like 3 in the morning and I just started crying because I'm just so scared of failing. It's just like from here, it's six hours of waiting before I take off, and I'm just so scared of not being able to do it. I don't know what to do. All right, I'm. I've wiped my tears. Here's the marathon outfit. I'm ready to go. I feel like now I'm in athlete mode. I'm gonna get on that VIP bus and I'm just going to party and get excited because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, having fun. I feel like I'm going to summer camp. Bus. Like, I'm going to summer camp. Like, I'm going to Benjamin just started playing in the VIP tent and I just started crying because this is how it all started for me. Okay, I'm leaving the VIP tent and going to my corral. Are you ready? Wave number four. Are you ready? Run with me at the beginning of some skill. Random people calling my name because it's on my shirt. It's so surreal. I was most afraid of because it's a hill. I'm out of breath that I can't talk, but I think it's about to turn to downhill, so hallelujah.
so the marathon is over. I'm super proud of myself that I did it, it's all done. I'm also super excited to just return to life and travel the world. Uh, the marathon was super good up to probably like mile 19 or 20. And then when I got off the bridge in the Bronx, I just like for a second, I felt like I couldn't breathe because I was like out of breath from running. And then I started like having a panic attack that I couldn't breathe and that panic attack kind of stuck. And I was just worried about not finishing the race and I had to walk a minute and just, you know, take deep breaths. Uh, a part of the big reason why I decided to run the marathon was because I wanted to prove to myself that I can get through mental challenges. Um, as someone with anxiety every day, I just wanted to show myself that my anxiety can go itself yeah so i'm just proud that even though i couldn't breathe i was hyperventilating i was crying for the last five ish six miles or so i still stuck it out kept going i had a bunch of friends that gave me big hugs when i was just hysterical crying i mean i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like it was super freaking hard but i'm okay now i'm home also funny not so funny story once i crossed the finish line i got super nauseous and dizzy and i puked TMI and almost fainted and had to go to the medical tent twice, but it's okay. All good now. Had some salt, some fluids. It was a super hot, humid day and a lot of people were dehydrated during the marathon this year. Actually, the top male runner fainted and didn't finish the race. So that made me feel a little bit more comforted, I guess, because I know I wasn't the only one. But anyway, overall, all of that aside you know it's a marathon stuff's gonna happen it's just a hard feat in general it just showed me how strong i can be physically and mentally it was an overall surreal experience in every way possible so thank you guys so much for tuning into this whole marathon journey if you decide to run a marathon after this i wish you lots of luck and it's gonna be hard but you're gonna finish no matter how much pain you're in you might be vomiting i'm not trying to scare you out of it this is just the reality of being a marathon runner and it will all be worth it in the end when you have that medal around your neck bye love you guys